muscle optimization, talking about amino acids and supplements for muscle health. As the great Hippocrates said thousands of years ago, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. This video will be about optimizing your muscles through nutrition, whether you are an athlete, pushing your physical boundaries, person undergoing physical stress such as surgery, or just going through the usual changes of aging. Our muscles are crucial to our health. The best way to fuel our muscles is through good nutrition. I'll talk about the importance of our muscles, why nutrition is important, and how to optimize that nutrition. Nutrition has been known to be a foundational part of our health for thousands of years. Nutrition along with hydration, sleep, social interaction, and exercise is a pillar of our health. We eat fats and sugars and proteins to keep our bodies working. It is proteins made out of amino acids that I will focus in on this video. Amino acids are the building blocks of our bodies. Combinations of amino acids make proteins. Proteins are crucial to cell structure and function as they make up the building blocks of our cells. They work as enzymes and are involved in our immune system. They work in the communication of our cells and the transportation of substances through our body. There are 20 amino acids that our body uses to make everything that it does. 11 of those amino acids our bodies can make. The other nine of those amino acids cannot be manufactured, thus are considered essential. These essential amino acids must be part of our diet. There cannot be a discussion of amino acids without discussion of muscle. You can see my separate video on muscle for more details on, on muscle. Muscle is protein, it's amino acids. Muscle is 40% of our body's mass and is the main storage of our body's amino acids. Muscle proteins are always being broken down and built up based on what our body needs at that moment. If you exercise and stimulate your muscles, your body will put resources into having stronger and more efficient muscle. If you are malnourished, overtraining, or under tremendous physical stress, whether from surgery or trauma, burns, then your body may have to tap into your amino acid stores and cause your muscles to shrink, also known as atrophy. It is crucial to keep your muscles strong for many reasons. They give us the ability to move. They also are a huge component of our metabolism. Muscle and exercise help counteract pro-inflammatory conditions such as diabetes. Muscles also communicate with pretty much every other organ system providing benefit to our bones, our digestion, and our brains. Muscles are clearly important to athletes whose vocation deals in precise and powerful movement. Muscles are also absolutely crucial to aging. As we age, our cells have a harder time repairing, we break down easier, our balance wanes, and to top it off, our nutrition is often worsened by the fact that we eat less and what we do eat is not as nutritious. A common issue that comes up as we age is something called sarcopenia. With muscle loss comes worsening function and increased risk of mortality, including falls or poor healing. Whether the stress you put on yourself is self-imposed through hard workouts or it is through trials and tribulations of life, you need to work on your nutrition and amino acids are crucial to that. Your performance, healing, and aging are all greatly influenced by your muscles. The minimum recommended daily allowance of protein is about 0.36 grams of protein per pound of weight or 0.8 grams of kilograms of weight. These numbers are really where you should be at just to prevent getting sick. This amount of protein is not enough for those of us who are training hard or undergoing significant stress. Unfortunately, in one study, surgical patients consumed only 22 to 36 percent of recommended protein. In general, aiming for one gram of protein for each pound you weigh, or 1.6 grams per kilogram, is a good place to start, but you may need to make modifications based on results and goals. So diet. I'm not here to tell you which diet is best. As you all know, there are people on the internet who feel very strongly about everything out there. Everyone's right, everyone's wrong. We're not having that discussion. What matters most is having a balanced, nutritious diet. There are a lot of things that come along with real food, like vitamins, minerals, and combinations of nutrition and calories that your body needs to be at its best. Supplements can help a little bit, 
but should not be the highest priority. Getting adequate protein is especially important for those of you who are vegetarian, and especially if you're vegan. It can be hard to reach your protein needs without animal protein, and you may need to supplement amino acids. Those of you who are intermittent fasters also may have to be creative to get enough protein. There are a few ways of optimizing getting the amino acids you need. Eating complete proteins that provide all of the essential amino acids at one time are helpful, but not necessary for every meal. Animal proteins, which include meat and poultry, fish, eggs, dairy, I love yogurt, are all complete proteins. Non-animal based sources of complete proteins include quinoa, chia seeds, buckwheat, raw spinach, pumpkin seeds, blue green algae, and soybeans or adamame, though it takes a lot more of these things to get proper amounts of amino acids. There are some very tasty combination of things that can make complete proteins, like nuts or seeds with whole grains, peanut butter sandwich, beans and rice, hummus and pita bread, chili and crackers, barley and lentil soup. Now, supplementation is sometimes necessary and supplementation has been shown to improve surgical recovery and outcomes as well as to improve athletic performance. Let's talk about some of these supplements. There are a few amino acids that become extra important in times of stress, arginine and glutamine. These are sometimes referred to as conditionally essential amino acids. Arginine will deplete rapidly in times of stress and helps make collagen and helps with blood vessel dilation, both of which are very important for healing. Glutamine can be used for energy and has cell protective and anti-inflammatory effects. It is anabolic, it encourages new growth. Beta-hydroxymethylbutyrate, HMB, this is a metabolite of leucine and contributes to muscle growth and insulin modulation and has been found to be beneficial and safe in surgical patients. Supplements as high as three grams a day have shown safety and efficacy. Cysteine and theanine combined work together to create strong antioxidant effects and adjust immune system function. Studied doses that showed benefit in surgical patients and athletes were 700 milligrams of cysteine, 280 milligrams of theanine daily for 10 days. No discussion of amino acids and muscle health is complete without a discussion of branch chain amino acids, BCAAs. These are three of the nine essential amino acids and are felt to contribute the most to muscle growth, performance, and recovery. These are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Leucine is probably the most important and doses have been published between two and 10 grams a day. However, branch chain amino acid effects are not as potent if used in isolation and there is still a lot of debate on their use. Just make sure you get all the essential amino acids. So there you have it. Muscles are important. Amino acids are how you fuel your muscles. Amino acids are a crucial part of our diet, whether we are athletes, recovering from stress, or just aging. I'm Dr. Lucius Pomerantz, board certified orthopedic surgeon, trying to help you all become your best selves. Keep moving, keep learning, and stay strong. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, get notifications. Thanks.